OpenAI is a unique company in many ways, but last November it followed a common tech industry practice. It hosted a developer conference where CEO Sam Altman encouraged software makers to build on top of ChatGPT. The company announced that it would soon launch a marketplace where developers and non-techies alike could create custom functions for the chatbot and share them with the world for a profit. The news received mixed reactions, with some praising the birth of a new platform and others making fun of a laundry app that was shown on stage. But whether funny or serious, OpenAI's App Store is part of a bigger plan to keep its edge in the competitive AI field. Like Apple and Google's YouTube have done so well, OpenAI now wants to attract developers and creators to provide fresh content for its platform, so that it can keep offering new experiences hosed with a ChatGPT Plus subscription, which costs $20 per month and users of the business plan's ChatGPT team and enterprise, which range from $25 to thousands of dollars per user per month. Users of free ChatGPT won't be able to use the apps for now. OpenAI calls these apps GPTs. They are already quite popular. They are likely to grow even faster now that almost anyone can create and publish a GPT on the web, after verifying their profile by making their name visible or linking it to a valid website. Just like on the iPhone or a platform like YouTube, OpenAI's platform is designed to add new and exciting features and experiences to a familiar interface. OpenAI's marketplace has a search function to help people find new GPT apps, like established mobile app stores. It will also highlight some GPTs the company thinks are noteworthy and publish leaderboards of the most popular. OpenAI has not yet revealed how it will pay the makers of GPT apps, this means that developers of all sizes who create GPT apps are hoping that the payment terms will be fair. OpenAI is counting on the huge excitement around ChatGPT to attract more builders to its platform. What's in it for the builders? Eric Olson, the co-founder and CEO of Consensus, a research paper search engine, says his GPT app is like Google Scholar on steroids. He says that launching his GPT app will help him get new customers and keep the existing ones happy. We have customers who use ChatGPT Plus and Consensus separately, and they've asked. Olson says, why don't you make something that lets us stay in one place? OpenAI's app model is all about making ChatGPT's text interface the one place where you can do everything. GPT apps like Consensus use the same chat format as ChatGPT, but with a different logo. The way it works is you go to a specific GPT app, like All Trails for hiking, Canva for design, or Khan Academy's Code Tutor for coding, and ask a question just like you would to ChatGPT. ChatGPT also acts as a bridge or a helper for GPT apps. When Wired asked the All Trails GPT app to recommend a two-hour hike in Berkeley, California, ChatGPT asked how hard the hike should be and if dogs were allowed. ChatGPT then asked for permission to access All Trails API and passed the question to All Trails before showing the suggestion that came back. GPT apps also have to follow the rules and guidelines that OpenAI has set. Big companies are unlikely to break OpenAI's rules, but some GPT app makers and users might, and OpenAI has to keep an eye on that. OpenAI says it will start paying the GPT app makers in the first quarter of this year. They call them builders. OpenAI says the payment will depend on how much people use the GPT apps. We'll give more details on how we'll pay as we get closer, OpenAI's blog post about the GPT store says. This means OpenAI's payment model will be like those of platforms that pay developers and creators based on how much their audiences like their work and that appeal to users. Today, OpenAI's app store is here. The GPT store, as it's called, is open to tow off and they come back to the platform, not like Apple's app store that takes 30% of the app sales since it started in 2008. Canva knows how to reward its creators. The easy-to-use design app has a huge fan base of 170 million users every month, and 17 million of them pay for its service. Canva also pays its creators a royalty for every premium design they make. Canva is not afraid of using AI to spice up its designs. It has teamed up with OpenAI and Stable Diffusion, two big names in AI, to let its users create amazing images with AI. But Canva is not stopping there. It has created its own GPT inside ChatGPT, the hottest AI platform right now. Canva's GPT can help users draft the design quickly and easily. Anwar Hanif, who leads Canva's ecosystems, says that Canva users like to customize their designs and experiment with them, rather than letting AI do everything for them. Because, AI can be a bit weird sometimes. Hanif also says that Canva wants to be where its users are, 
and that Canva users are always curious about new things and new technologies. Canva has not talked to OpenAI about how to make money from its GPT yet. For now, when users ask Canva's GPT to make a design, it shows them a few options, and then sends them to Canva's website if they want to change anything. This could be a smart way for Canva to attract more customers with its GPT. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching.